everyone. Today we're going to make a crystal garden. So first we have some hot water in here. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Right, so first of all though, we're going to be making four different sizes of crystals. Mm -hmm. So we've got the large one, and then we've got the medium and two small ones. So, what we're going to do, Pasky, you were right. So we're going to start with 200 milliliters of hot water. Yep. So go ahead and pour your hot water into the cup. And Ephraim's just going to make his in the mixing thing. There, I got it all in. Now you're going to pour in your chemicals. So the chemical that we are using is monoammonium phosphate. So pour that into the water. All of it. All of it. Okay. Yep, Ephraim, pour all of your chemical in there. Yay. And then we're, you're gonna, yep, just get it all in there. By the way, guys, do not play with this chemical. Right, what this chemical does is it captures the water in the air, so it helps to link the crystals together. So it's gonna attach to that water. So get it all mixed up in there. Yep, and then stir it up till it dissolves. I had to make a bigger bowl for this chemical. Oh, there's a big chunk in there. That's okay. It can get a little cakey, that ammonium phosphate, so just mix it up. And then once you get it good and mixed up, let's see, do we have it pretty mixed? Yep, it's like a nice cloudy look. Yep, you need to mix yours up a little bit more. Can you touch this stuff? You can, but you want to make sure that you wash your hands right afterwards. It won't burn you or anything, but it's just not something you want to make sure you don't touch your eyes or your mouth. You don't want to eat it. Okay, is it good and dissolved now? I think so. Okay, so the hotter the water, the easier it's going to be for that to dissolve. Yep, look at it, it's all almost nice and clear now. So now we're going to just let that cool for about 15 minutes and then we're going to pour it into our hexagon crystal glowing crystal growing I container. Wash my hands. Yes, wash your hands. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so it's sat for 15 minutes. It's nice and cooled and now we're going to pour it into our crystal form. So go ahead and pour that pask into your container and Ephraim's going to Divide his between each three of those. I'm just gonna do a big one. Yep, just pour all of it into one. So these are the containers that the crystals will grow in. Mm hmm. Oh, whoa, and it's so stiff in here. Yeah, I'm just finish that one off. and clear. Okay, now we let that sit for 30 minutes to set up and then we're going to put the coloring in it so we can have colored crystals. We, read, we waited 30 minutes, now it's time to add the coloring. Okay, so for our coloring we're going to be using aluminum potassium sulfate. And so mm -hmm. we've got it in three different colors. Yep. So we're going to have two crystals that will be white, just like a regular clear crystal. So sprinkle it all on the top, don't stir it up. So when you pour this in, you want to sprinkle it all over the top, but not stir it up. And then it'll sink to the bottom. Like this. Just like that. Perfect. Mm, what do you think I got? I got blue. Yeah, that one is blue. So then once we get the coloring in them and see how it's just dripping down in there. I feel like it got red. It did get red. So it's oh. just gonna settle. So see how it's just dropping and settling down on the bottom. So then that's what's gonna help start the crystals too. That's gonna be the crystal seeding. So now once you get that in there, you don't want to disturb these. So we are going to sit these in a special place. Yep. 
where they're not going to be bothered by anybody or anything. And we are going to slowly watch the crystals grow. And so they will grow over the next few days, but they should start growing within the next few hours. So we're going to check back in a couple of hours and see what they look like. And then we'll keep checking them until they are all done. And then we can make our crystal garden. Yep. We left our crystals out for two days. And this, this is, is what they look like on day two. Mm -hmm. They look pretty cool. Really cool. There we go. That's it. And here's the blue one. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. It's really growing. This one grows super well. If you actually look around there, it grows uh, across all the pieces. Yeah. It's looking good. This is. This one's just a bunch of crystals, it looks like. Let's see what the red one looks like. Yeah. Whoa, that one's going to be a big, massive crystal. It's Let's probably, we're side. probably, we're probably going to There we look. go. Yeah, that's what it looks that like. Looks cool. They're growing good. Now it's just a little crystal. So we'll let them set for a couple more days. Uh-huh. Bye. Okay, hi everyone. Today it has been five days, so our, it's ready to take out our little crystals. All right, we are ready to take them out. Okay. And crystals do climb on walls. They do crystal climb, don't they? This one climbed clear mm -hmm. up on the top. So did this one. Okay, so you are gonna take that and you're gonna dump out the fluid. Make sure you don't dump out the crystal. You can touch that, that's okay now. Well, I was uh, just, and it's probably gonna. See the crystals in there. Let's see them in there first. Okay, awesome. Can you pull them out? Can you pull out the crystal? Mm, no, it's stuck. Oh no, I can't. There you go. Okay. Now just rinse it off ever so slightly. You don't want to rinse it off too much because the water will actually dissolve the crystal. Like again. that? Yep, that's good. Just to get off some of the fluid. There you go. You can rinse it a little more than that. Well, that's, that's, Is that that's okay? Good. Yep. Okay. Let's take a peek at that one. Ooh, that's beautiful. Uh -huh. That's a really good crystal. You can't really see the color in here too well on the camera, but it's a really pretty red. Okay, oh, yeah. so now we're going to repeat the same thing with the rest of the crystals. I want to try this crystal because Hey, luckily, it actually takes out the bread a lot. That one's clear. See, I like that crystal right there. Looks like a crystal mass. Ooh, let me see that one. Oh, that looks really pretty. You can see there's some. There's a big one right there. Just break it off. No, you, I just got some water on me. What are you trying to do, Mom? Uh-oh, I just broke the crystal off. Whoops. We can look at that one, though. That's really pretty. Okay, we don't want to break them off, though, do we? No, um, I don't know if that one's okay. I'm just gonna... Oh, one did break off. We can use those to decorate. There we go. Okay, finally. Okay, now we know what to do. Ooh, that's really pretty. We lost, we lost little bits. Let me see it. Look at this one in the light. That one shimmers. This one is like a crystal garden. It is. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it. That's really cool. No, I want. I don't want to let that one dry because it's probably going to evaporate all those cool crystals. Okay. okay. This is let's the, do the blue one. With the blue one? Oh. Yeah, let's see what that one looks like. And that one we can break off some of the, the crystals that climb are just kind of 
fuzzy. Mushy. You see, we got this wall I crystal. See. You see, you can just go. That looks like an ice spike. It does. That one looks really like. Let's see it. Oh yeah, that one looks cool. Uh huh. Can you pull it out ever so gently? Okay. Do you want to try what I did with the other one? Yeah, and I we got if a blue. You tip it upside down. I'm just kind of. There we go. Now flip them over gently. Why don't you rinse that one off a little bit and get rid of some of those little crystals. Yeah, that's what we want. Careful with it. There we go. Wow, look at that one. That's cool. That's sharp. <laughs> yes, I'm, that I, one's really sharp. That one kind of feels like glass. Yes, that's probably, they probably made it out of glass, just like, what? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, we done that, the fluid. I wonder if you got about the fluid. Oh. That one came out easy. Mm, this one didn't glow, grow as much as the blue and red. I just gotta get all that spiky, oh that one's bended onto it. Is that stuck on there? Yeah, there's some of that is actually stuck down there. Some crystals. I said we still have one more. One left. Uh -oh. Whoa! Break apart. Yeah. So we got little chunks of crystals. Tons of chunks of crystals we because it was for our garden. Cool. Okay, so now we can make the garden. So you can have this little temp this little rocky place, and then this one that's a huge dinosaur. This is Galileo saying, Can I have a crystal? <laughs> no buddy. No. And then we have all these cool rocks to decorate. Okay, let's decorate. And now so I'm you put the pink rocks in there. This is going to be so decorated. I'm just going to make it so decorated. Okay, now I want to stir it all together. Now it's time to put them in the garden. Whoa, that looks really cool. And I'm just gonna add this crystal in. Maybe I gotta go with the smaller crystals first. So this crystal. I would put the bigger crystals in first. Um, but we need to fit in all the small ones. Because if we pop it in, this one won't fit. Let's take out the blue one. There we go. We put it on the side like that. Now it's time to decorate with the broken one. Those turned out so cool. I'm actually really glad that other one broke. Like rubies, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. See Bye, everyone. Subscribe to all of our videos. Bye. Bye. Try to make your own crystal garden at home. So cool.
拜。